Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and Crisis on Infinite Earths. Today we're going to be breaking down one of the final teaser trailers for Crisis, you know, part 4. Also, we've got some kind of exciting news, what well, it sort of is news, to do with The Flash, and to do with a potential return of a character, and you know, an actor as well. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off we're going to talk about this Flash stuff, then we'll go into the trailer, because you know the trailer's the big thing really, so I'll get this out of the way. So if you remember back to the 100th episode last year, we had the return of Reverse Flash, Savitar and Zoom. And the guy, the actor who plays Zoom is Teddy Sears, he's absolutely fantastic, he's probably the best villain that the show's ever had, you know, very much so on par with the Reverse Flash, I love Zoom. So he returned in the 100th episode. You know, he even had his mask taken off, you know, Zoom was there, he chased Barry and Nora, so that all happened, right? And so if you follow him on social media, basically, he recently posted that he would actually love to return. So this person on Instagram asked him, would you come back to The Flash? Zoom is my favourite character and season 2 is my favourite season, please come back. And in reply to that, Teddy wrote two things and he said absolutely if it makes sense to the story and they ask me then yep interesting idea i think they could always go and recruit earth one hunter zolomon who's living in central city that would be fun so that's his way of potentially you know coming back because you know earth 2 is destroyed and such like that so I think that would be amazing, I'm really happy that he is, you know, open to coming back and, you know, he's open to his fans, and so I think it would be fantastic if he returns, maybe, you know, I don't know, sometime next season or something like that, maybe, you know, he could return as a villain, maybe it's like a different version of Zoom, obviously that's very unlikely, however, I think there is a possibility that he could return, I think his idea of, you know, Earth-1 Hunter Zolomon, who we saw, back in season two i think that's a very fun idea and i think that could work so what do you think about this do you think that zoom should return do you think he will at some point i think that this could be a great idea and i'm very happy that eddie is open to returning because that's always a really really good sign if an actor is okay so let's move on to talk about the trailer this is the one of the final trailers for crisis for part four because it comes back in four days, we've got Arrow and Legends on the same night. I think maybe we'll get a sneak peek sometime later this week, but we'll have to wait and see as to what specifically we get. But this is very important, so we have to talk about this. And this is actually heavily related to Barry and what's happening with Barry. Because in the recent synopsis, we were teased that Barry is going to disappear, but how is he going to disappear? And this trailer very much so is in the line of that. So the first shot of the trailer is a Barry, he's sweating, he's really flushed out and he's sort of lying against this wall and he's trying to attempt to break out of this zone where they are, you know, where time and space doesn't exist. And so all the paragons are there with him. They're trying to stop him from doing whatever he's trying to do. Basically, he's trying to break out, but I'm not sure in what way. Is he trying to speed out? Is he trying to reverse time? What's he trying to do? But this shot is really great and I'm really looking forward to it. So the next shot we cut to Kara and Kate's behind her and basically they're trying to stop him. Kara's sort of leaning forward, she's like, you know, stop it, stop what you're doing and stuff like that. And then we move on to the next shot, we got the, you know, the beaming light in the background. Still don't know what specific place this is, this is, you know, in that same zone where they were left at the end of last episode. However, it's some sort of like base some sort of inside place, so it's like a old broken down place. And so, yeah, Barry's getting up, Kara's there, she's trying to stop him basically from, you know, getting up and leaving. Then we got Sarah, and Barry sort of confronts her a little bit, then we cut to them and you see some of the other paragons in the background. Sarah says, Barry, the effort alone could kill you. So he's obviously got some sort of plan that he's attempting to do. He's attempted it at least once, we can tell that. But this is going to cause him to disappear, and I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like it's probably him speeding around and trying to do something. And then I reckon he will disappear, he will either time travel, or maybe he gets plucked out by the anti-monitor. So we'll have to wait and see as to what specifically happens in the end. 
but Sarah is being very comforting, being like, no, don't do this, you know, the effort could kill you, so you better not do it. And then Barry shouts and goes, get out of my way. And so he's really pissed off, you know, not at them, but at himself that he wasn't able to do this. Then we got to this shot, we got Ryan Choi, we got Lex, we got Kate, and we got John in the background. And so now it's Kate's turn to try and stop him, and you know, he barges past, he's like, get out of my way. Then we cut to a shot of Ryan Choi, Ryan's working on this machine, I don't know what it is, but it's something to help them essentially escape, because it seems like everyone is trying to escape, but Barry's doing it in his own specific way, and it seems like Lex and Ryan have been working on this machine that maybe, I don't know, could change like the course of reality, Maybe it's time travel, don't know, but it seems like Barry is just, you know, going rogue on this and they're actually trying something that could potentially work. Barry is, again, trying to confront Sarah, Sarah's in front, Barry sort of storms towards her and we've got Kara in the background as well and he's like, try and stop me, you know, I'm doing this, you can't change my mind about this. And so that's sort of the whole gist of the trailer. He's so committed and, you know, this is going to cause his disappearance due to the fact that he's trying this method that obviously isn't going to work as all the Paragons have been warning him. But, you know, he must get back. I guess his motivation is mainly Iris to get Iris back and to, you know, save the worlds, bring the worlds back, be a hero. And I think he's just not thinking straight as of right there. And so then we cut and we go to Kara next to Sarah, so she's like walked around or flew around or something, and so Kara says, cut it out, we're not turning on each other, so, you know, I think this is in relation to him trying to do a different thing, him trying to, you know, do it his own way, rather than the way that they're doing with, like, Ryan Choi and Lex and whatever they're working on, it seems like that is the way that they're trying to break out of here and, you know, try and escape and save everyone, bring back the Earths and bring back Iris, bring back Cisco, bring back Caitlyn in terms of Barry. And so, yeah, so Kara's sort of consoling him because it seems like, you know, he's very much so dead set in the ways that he's going and this is going to be a big thing. This is in episode four of Crisis, so this is in part four. This is not in part five as far as I'm aware because I'm pretty sure by the end of part four, they potentially might bring back some of these worlds and we'll have some returning characters. And I really do think that the way they're going to do it is somehow changing reality. I don't believe it's going to be time travel. I think it will be a reality change. It'll have probably something to do with Oliver as the Spectre because he has a lot of power. And, you know, they released a new poster the other day, which we'll talk about in a minute. But it sort of teases the Spectre's role and he's going to be pretty big. Okay, so we move on to the final shot. Sarah has her hands on his chest. She's like, no, don't go. So the final thing we're going to talk about in this video is the Crisis on Infinite Earths poster. I didn't actually have time to make a video on this the other day. So, you know, this is going to be included in this video. It's a really good poster. We see the anti-monitor. He's massive. This is very much so like a reflection of, you know, the poster that we got before, but with the monitor. And now it's the anti-monitor controlling everything. His hands are sort of, you know... Basically, he's like a puppeteer. He's controlling all of our heroes and, you know, there is returning heroes on here. We've got, you know, in the background, we've got some of the supporting characters. Obviously, we've got Killer Frost, Heatwave, Nia Now, Alex, and many, many more people. But, you know, I think the big thing that everyone was talking about is Oliver because he is here, he's returned, but he is not in his Green Arrow suit. He is in a version of it that is the Spectre suit. And you can see his eyes are glowing a little bit. He's got his hands forward because, you know, normal Oliver doesn't have powers or anything like that. So it seems like he's been given or granted powers. And I think he's going to be a key role. Obviously, he's right in the middle in actually bringing, you know, the Earths back and helping our heroes and getting some people to return as well. So, yeah, it's a really good poster. You know, I love the use of color. It's sort of fades from blue to purple to orange. At the front, you've got Supergirl and Batwoman, The Flash, White Canary, Black Lightning, and behind them, you have Oliver as the Spectre. And so, all the photos from the front, I believe, are actually new photos, and I really like when they include new ones when they make these posters, because some of the ones in the background are reused, like 
Alex, Nia, Heatwave, Vex, Jean, we've seen them all before. But yeah, so that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.